Welcome back my lovely friends, welcome back to the channel, my name is Georgi and you're watching Just Shake or Steer, it's so nice to see your smiley faces. Uh, I can't see it, but I hope you're smiling, okay, I hope you're happy and I hope life treats you well. And today it's another cocktail video, of course. However, today I'm not making anything created by anybody else but me. Yes, this year I entered the GFART West Camp competition, the last time I entered it was 2019. And I went to semi-finals. Now I always enter competitions not particularly with the idea of, of winning it, but of qualifying to meet another great bartender and mixologist to exchange some ideas and for the overall like a buzz and atmosphere of the competitions. So this year GFAR bring the West Cup back and the brief it's very simple. It's a music inspired cocktail. So yeah, shake the music. Let's put it this way. So I give it a little think and I came up with a cocktail which is called Bed of Roses. And if you know this name, you're already probably guessing, but yes, that's inspired by the song Bed of Roses by the one and only Bon Jovi. Okay, if you ask me why I choose this song uh, and what inspired the cocktail, uh, I just love the song guys. I just love the name, I love the lyrics, and I know it's not the particularly happiest songs in the world, but it's a very nice song. Now because it's a GFART competition and you know GFART it's liqueurs and syrups, it's a low ABV, so I decide to make a cocktail which is really refreshing, easy to drink, crispy, very good aromas, and of course based on GFART. So let's see what is the ingredients. First of all, of course, we're gonna start with the GFART uh, and I'm using the GFART Rhubarb Liqueur. So this is the hero of the cocktail and this is the base of the cocktail. Then to give a little kick to the cocktail, I'm using a Calvados. So any Calvados you have at home, you can use it. I'm using Avalan. In the original cocktail, I used Dupont Calvados, which is VSOP H Calvados. And just to mention, this is how I serve in the bar I work. And so far, for the past two weeks, we've sold lots of Bed of Roses. So people really like it, really appreciate it, and really enjoying the cocktail, which is making me very, very happy. But let's go back to the ingredients. Now, next ingredient is Super Salad Sour Mix. If you don't have Super Salad Sour Mix, you can easily create a water with a citric acid and a little bit of malic acid to create your own sour mix. Uh, don't use uh, lime juice or a lemon juice cloudy because the idea of the cocktail is to be nice and clear. That's why you're gonna have to use a clear sour mix, okay? Next ingredient, this is to top up, is the Fentiman's Rose Lemonade. If you don't have Fentiman's in your neck of the wood, I'm pretty sure there's a company which make rose lemonade. So have a look around. Then another ingredient, it's a rose water. Now this is the main ingredient which is gonna bring uh, this flavor and aromas of roses so we kind of connect to the name bed of roses and rose water it's pairing fantastic with the calvados with the apple brandy and with the rhubarb liqueur and final ingredient i have champagne syrup made in-house now if you ask how to make champagne syrup it's pretty simple you can make a wine or a champagne syrup what i do is any wine or a leftovers for example, in the bar I work, we save it on the side, we reduce on a low heat, so you just reduce, you don't need to boil it, you need to reduce slowly on a medium heat, then you just add some sugar and you're gonna get a lovely rich sugar syrup with the flavors of the wine, like grape and floral, and it will be just fantastic. So it's perfect for many other cocktails, not just for this one. So let's build the bed of roses. Just a little pause guys for a quick announcement. From now on I'm gonna start taking subscribers requests. Yes, so if you wanna see something specific or you have a recipe which you want me to make on the channel and you think it's good enough, make sure you leave a comment in my videos or contact me on Instagram. Send me a direct message on Instagram if you want. Or also I'm gonna make a community post, maybe leave a comment there. We'll figure it out. 
because my Discord at the moment is down, so I don't know if I'm gonna bring it back, but we'll figure it out. However, you can leave a comment, contact me on Instagram, and just send me some requests because I'm gonna start doing uh, Sunday videos with subscribers requests, okay? Now back to the video. Okay, we're gonna start with our hero of the cocktail and this is the rhubarb uh, liqueur by Gifard. I'm using a 50 ml, uh, you can use up to two ounces if you want, if that make uh, kind of uh, easier for you with this uh, ounces measurements, but otherwise just use 50 ml of the Gifard. Then the next ingredient, of course, it's the Calvados. The Calvados, it's only 25 ml. And this what it's doing is just basically bringing a little bit more kick to the cocktail, but doesn't make it too strong. It's just to kind of uh, elevate the rhubarb low ABV liqueur. Now we need the sour mix. The sour mix is gonna level the sweetness coming from the rose water after and the actual liqueur rhubarb. So only 15 ml because this sour mix is really strong. If you make your own sour mix, make it to your liking. But in generally, what I do, for example, I put around 5 grams of citric acid to a pretty much 1 liter of water and I put a little bit pinch of malic acid to elevate the flavor. That's all it is. Next ingredient, the champagne syrup. Another 15 ml of the champagne syrup. Now, if you can be bothered to make a champagne syrup or you don't have any uh, leftover wine or Prosecco, just use simple syrup. It's absolutely fine. No judgment here. And finally, the rose water. Now, the rose water, it's also 15 ml. Uh, depends on the rose water you're using. Check the label. For example, this one is pretty strong and they recommend to use one to two tablespoons in a glass of water, which is make around 30 ml maximum. So I'm using 15 because it's really strong on flavor, but when it's mixed with the rhubarb, with the calvados and with the lemonade, it's gonna dilute a little bit and it's gonna just have a, this lovely subtle aromas like a bouquet, flower of roses, yeah? And this is it. Now we're gonna shake just to dilute a little bit, chill the cocktail and then top up with the lemonade, garnish, serve and enjoy. Let's shake. Now I'm gonna shake just with one big cube of ice. I will not break it. The reason why is just I want to dilute a little bit of cocktail and of course, to chill the actual mixing side. Very quick shake, no more than 10 seconds. Wonderful. That's more than enough. Okay, we can put all these things away. Wipe the bar and get ready to serve. So I'll be serving in a highball glass and I'm gonna serve over this wonderful ice beer, okay? So I make this in a mold. Uh, if anybody is interested, I can give you, just drop me a comment and I'll give you the name of the company which make this mold. I don't know how widely they're available, but if you want, just drop me a comment. So one of these ice, just a strain, don't need double strain because it's a big cube of ice, there's no lemons, anything inside. So just gonna strain it. And as you can see, the cocktail have this lovely, like a peach pinky color. It's a little bit cloudy because of the shaking, but it's gonna clear out. And final ingredient, it's the rose lemonade by Fentimans. Uh, I think Fever 3 do rose lemonade, and I don't know if any other company is doing it. So just top up to bring this lovely pink color and to make it more kind of a look flowery. When the cloudness disappear, it's gonna be fantastic, crispy, clean cocktail, okay? So, until this is happened, I'm gonna do the garnish, which is a simply fresh rhubarb. Now, you can get a fresh rhubarb, you can make the garnish freezing in the freezer for a future use, but if you have it fresh, just use it fresh. So, all I'm gonna do is just basically peel with my peeler, one, here we go, slice like this, I'm gonna put it on the side and just make it like a ring and put it around the ice, okay? So, here we go, just around the ice. 
And the final touch is to serve it with a little straw. I have these glass straws from Surfside Sip. Uh, I'm gonna leave link in the description. It's not affiliate, but I really like uh, the chap making these straws and he's making it by hand. So it's a local business, small business. If you want to support and buy some cool glass straws, make sure you check the link. And this is it, my lovely friends. This is the bed of roses. Let's give it a try. It's just wonderful. I mean, you have these refreshing, crispy aromas with the roses coming through. And when you drink, you can feel this rose water. It's very nice on the tongue, but then on the back end, it's coming the calvados and the rhubarb and the rose lemonade. And this lovely champagne flavor from the syrup, which I mentioned, if you don't have used the sugar syrup, it's absolutely fine. But if you can make it, you'll love it because you can use it in other cocktails. And it'll bring a really lovely, subtle flavor of a wine. And this is it, yeah. Uh, I'm still waiting for the results. I don't know if he's gonna qualify for the semi-final, but I love it. I had fun creating this cocktail. I'm happy it's serving in uh, the bar which I work and it sells really good. And that's the most important thing, to be honest. Uh, is he gonna qualify for competition? I don't know yet. However, I hope you enjoy your weekend and uh, yes, uh, don't forget to subscribe share, like, comment, and whatever you desire. But as always, I'll see you next time. And until then, I love you and I leave you. Bye-bye.